Hello Scorpio, welcome back to Surviving with Carrie. Back again with another tarot card reading here for you, okay? This tarot card reading is all about your love life. We're going to tune into your energy and your partner's energy to see what's going on, okay? This can be anybody who you're in a relationship with, who, you're in a, who you were in a relationship with in the past, or even if you are single to see what's coming forward to you, okay? So your energy, okay, very interesting, very interesting. I'm going to get clear, okay, hold on. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, please. Wow. Okay. 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 Some of you guys are dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, Scorpio. Some of because the Devil card represents Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn energy. Okay. This may also be someone who you are in a romantic um a relationship with who you are just obsessed with like head over heels with okay um i feel like you guys have came together or you guys met maybe when you guys were drinking okay because the three of cups represents reunions celebrations i feel like some of you guys are celebrating a reunion with this person okay um overall i feel like you're feeling good though with your energy this is your energy but it's like your partner came through or something <laughs> But overall, I feel like you're obsessed with this person, okay? Maybe some of you have some abandonment issues, okay, from the past, okay? And this is something that you have to get over. With the Eight of Cups, it's like um, maybe some of you left this person behind, Scorpio. But let me go ahead and clarify this energy up really quick for you. So can I get clarification for the Three of Cups for Scorpio? Clarification for the Three of Cups for Scorpio. Scorpio. So we get um we get the two of swords. So this is somebody who you are no longer in connection with. This could be an air sign or someone who um blocked you or you're just mm -mm. this person this person could have had a hard time following their their higher self or their intuition. Okay, someone who um wasn't yeah. So we get um a lot of communication. So I feel like oh, wow. I feel like this per I feel like this person definitely reached out to you and they were either blocked, or you blocked them, or they wanted a reunion of some kind with you. Scorpio, can I get a clarification for the devil? Clarification for the devil for Scorpio. Wow. Wow. Okay. So this is I feel like this is someone you let go in the past. Okay, with the high priestess in reverse though. I feel like this person was just not mm-mm. -mm. This person was just not, no, okay, which it's just like a no, it's just like your intuition and everything said no, okay, ah, wow, judgment card has popped out, yeah, this was someone who was just not good for you, Scorpio, so any, anyways, eight of cups, please, eight of cups, so you're, you're gonna know who I'm talking about for sure, Okay, I feel like you already know. This is Five of Swords in reverse. I feel like this person misses you. They regret walking away from you. They regret walking away from the connection for sure. If that's what you're wondering. If you were thinking about this person and you were wondering if they miss you. um, Yeah, they miss you for sure. They regret letting you go. Okay, I feel like I feel like they had to learn the hard way. Uh, Yeah, so Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they definitely, they're lonely. I feel like they're really lonely now and it's like, they really regret it and I feel like you're feeling really good about it now because you get the sun card and I feel like you, some of you are like doing really good or you're just you're doing you and you feel happy because it's like this person just brought a lot of shit to your life anyway let's go ahead and clear these up really quick Scorpio Scorpio the hermit in reverse okay some of you um have been isolating yourselves a lot and spirit is saying it's like okay it's time to communicate okay you get the king of swords i feel like a lot of you guys like to talk or communicate okay yeah i feel like some of you guys um what uh, this is more like advice from spirit okay so scorpio what i'm getting is like you've been isolated okay you've been staying off of social media okay you see he's closing his laptop down but it's like you're isolating yourself but it's like spirit is saying hey you need to you need to be open minded you need to have a clear mind about things okay wow Okay, yeah, when well, you get the Six of Pentacles, it's like, um, come together with people who you know give you good energy, okay? With the Six of Pentacles, you get um, equal give and take from people. So I feel like Spirit is saying, hey, it's okay to communicate. It's okay to be around people. 
okay yeah be around people who are not in this in this mindset where there's a lot of negativity a lot of fighting okay let go of the, let go of negativity let go of fighting don't don't come into arguments with people around this time scorpio this is supposed to be a love reading but your love reading just turned into like this whole um this person's energy came through where i had to tell you guys a message about them but now i'm just giving you advice from spirit okay so let's go ahead and see what that last connection was about with the romance angels What's that? What's the connection that they were thinking about? What's the connection with that person, please? What's the connection for Scorpio? Okay, so it says, stay optimistic about your love life. Okay, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So always stay positive is what I'm hearing. Have a clear mind. Okay, stay positive. Um, I feel like some of you are very giving, um, very nice, very sweet. Um, like you give people gifts or... You have a special gifts that you can give to people. That's what I'm hearing, Scorpio. Okay, but you need to stay away from negative people. Okay, you need to stop arguing with people. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, so yeah. That's advice from Spirit on, on your love life is what I'm hearing, okay? So one more card, please. We get healing family issues okay so yeah so some of you guys um come into arguments or i feel like in the past you may have came into our pay attention to the red okay so um scorpio sorry what i'm getting is that um for some of you maybe you guys used to come into arguments with your family a lot but you guys have tried to heal those family issues okay i feel like you guys are still kind of working on that energy like trying to heal connection with your family you're trying to heal your connections in general of course but um um overall you're getting a lot of advice here so let's go ahead and tune into miss moon's energy to see what miss moon has um for advice for you we get wow work through your fears and we get new moon and scorpio so this is your own card scorpio it's like your energy has shown up here and it says work through your fears <sighs> let's go ahead and read what that's about okay so you get new moon scorpio um time to let go of a grudge you're holding on to okay move on from jealousy stop being obsessive um could it be you're being paranoid make an investment okay so that's advice you're getting because i'm i'm reading i'm reading right here <laughs> so also think of a situation as the phoenix that's rising from the ashes as the birth death rebirth paradigm okay that's what scorpio energy is all about so scorpio what something that you're really good at is like you're really good at letting go of shit that doesn't serve you and being reborn and coming out as like a fucking queen is what i'm hearing okay so you're really good at that scorpio so step into your own power to let go of negative shit around you because there's people around you who are just bleh i don't know or in the past there was but what i'm hearing is with work through your fears it's like um it's like the scorpio energy is about well i just said it um birth death rebirth okay so yeah it's time to work your magic is what i'm getting from that okay scorpio i hope you enjoyed your reading thank you so much for tuning in i know it's a little short but i feel like that's the message for you this week i will see you guys next time bye